Hello everyone in ISOIT 742. Welcome to ISOIT 742 Multi-Team Science. In this unit, you will learn how to use Python to solve wide practical data science tasks and also the theoretical knowledge. In this video, if you know how to use Google Colab and Anaconda to exercise and use the Jupyter Notebooks. Especially those Jupyter Notebooks will be used in your lab session for practice and also have your assignment in the same format as the Jupyter Notebooks. So by using the Google Colab and Anaconda will be very important for you to finish this unit. By accessing your unit Jupyter Notebooks and assignment, you can type into the URL of github.com tulip lab SRT724 and this URL will bring you to the repository of SRT742. And um, in the front page of this repository, you see two folders. And uh, the first folder is your assignment. By clicking to your assignment folder, you see two assignments. And the format of the assignment is Jupyter Notebook. So learn how to use and learn how to use the Jupyter Notebook to solve the tasks is very, very important. And the data folder is the data you're going to use for your assignment. And um, Go to the Jupyter folder, you see all these Jupyter Notebooks we're going to practice in our lab. And O1 means the first session, O2 means the second, and O3 means the third, and going forward. And also they have the data folder we use to practice of our Jupyter Notebooks in the lab session, and also the relevant images. Next part, I'm going to introduce how to use Google Colab. So before you actually type in the search of the Google Colab, you need to actually log in with a Google account. And after that, you can search Google Colab. And the results will bring you to the Google Colab front page. And by clicking to the URL, and you see the front page. And it's actually a very informative front page. You see some introductions. You see some uh, practice, simple practice. And also we see some of the uh, relevant learning resource and uh, we have the um, pandas introduction, TensorFlow, and also the simple neural networks, neural networks, and also the data embedding technologies. And particularly, you'll be very curious how to actually bring over SIT 742 Jupyter Notebook repository into the Google Colab. So by actually click the file tab and you see that uh, you can upload the notebook via basically four different uh, ways. So you can either actually download this repository by go to a repository front page. Here you can find a clone and download button. You can download as a zipped file and save to your local drive, then upload these Jupyter notebooks from a local drive to the Google Colab by specify your local drives pass here. Or you can simply just copy the SRT742 repository pass and uh, copy paste over there and uh, press enter. It actually bring you to the right repository, which is SRT742 and also the right branch, which is the master. And let's actually click our first session repository and uh, it will bring you to the relevant Jupyter Notebooks. And this is the content for our first session labs. And um, at here, I just want to introduce how to actually similar to this platform, Google Colab. So at here, you see a file, and it's very easy understanding and straightforward. It's actually either you bring a new Jupyter Notebook file, or you actually open a used one, or open uh, a saved one or upload a, a new one or saved one or you can save to a different place either to Google Drive or, or GitHub account via the guest. And also for the edit is very important. So at here you can either do uh, undo and redo actions. So when you do something on the Jupyter Notebooks and uh, you can easily use undo and redo to actually going forward and back step. And also you can have some of the copy and uh, and cut actions and paste options actions 
and you can delete as well. Um, for view, uh, here you can view the table contents and the notebook information and you can either collapse the sections or, or expand the sections as well. And insert is very important. So we actually try to use a Drupal notebook to solve a very particular task that you want to use via the Python language and you need to insert a code cell. And in the same time, we try to you know, bring some notes and also the findings from your from outcome of your of your um, programming, you need to actually use a text cell. And particularly, you want to actually section your Jupyter notebooks. You can actually use a second header cell. And um, for run times, it actually give you a, 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 a ability to actually run all or run something before or just restart the run time. Restart the run time will bring you to to a totally new Jupyter notebooks um, without actually changing anything. We actually execute, and the tools is actually give you a preference and help. We give you some hint of how to use the Google Colab and also how you start with uh, something, 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 something easy from the Jupyter notebook structure, and also you can report a bug to to the Google Colabs here. So let me make you an example how to actually insert a code cell and how you run. So first. Uh, let's insert a code cell and here is actually give you a code cell and you can type in some functions from the Python language and also in the left side you see a button called run cell button or you can use the short code of the short code of the control plus into and uh, let's do a very simple print and uh, welcome to isit seven four two and then you can simply just run it and then um, you can run anyway and yes and it's initializing and connect and it's running okay you see the outcome so it is actually the print outcomes which is welcome to srt seven four two and um that's it so simply so when you actually do your own so you have to organize your person code and also your tasks Tax logic and uh, implement your Python code and the logic into the code cell and simply by clicking the run you can see your results and that's how you actually use the collab to finish your your um, Python tax here. So by after you actually finishing your Jupyter notebooks and you want to save so you can actually click the file and save to the Google Drive or save to your GitHub's. Um, Particularly, you can actually download your Jupyter notebooks as well, or download as a Python script. It's very convenient. Okay, so next part, let me help you.